Yum, yum. Uh, good morning, everyone. Welcome to Pixel Fondue. My name's Chris. Uh, today, I'm going to show you a little bit about how to set up a custom macro in Moto. We're going to set up the macro, and I'm going to drop it in one of my custom uh, palettes right here. Uh, it's not too hard. It's a little bit involved, but it's just one step after another. And once you do it a few hundred times, you get the hang of it. All right, so what I'll do is I'll get rid of all this so we can start from scratch. All right. So what I'm wanting to do is I'm wanting to filter things in the item list. You can come up here and do this right here. Click, 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 click. All, none, invert, things like that. But it can be a little bit uh, tedious if you're looking for things and wanting to do filters on a regular basis. Uh, so what I have, here's the ones I've already got done. If you look here, if I hit this one, Now let me get that thing pinned up here so you see what happens. So this one just gives me my cameras, my groups, my lights, my locators, my meshes. Right? This one will just change. It drops my cameras and lights. I don't have to see any of that in the item list. Uh, this one just goes down to only meshes. Uh, the one I'm going to do today, I'm just going to jump into locators. All right, so what I need to do... I've got my form here. I have that open so I can see what's happening. So what I'll do is I'll go to my system, form editor, get that thing up. I'll come in here. Let's see, I'm going to find this form so I can go right to it. So this is the, this right here, item filters, is this line right here. Right, these three pieces fit in here. Here's the whole form right there. So, what I want to do is drop one in here. Now, what I need to do first is I need to get the macro run. So, what I'll do is hit F5. I've got my scripts open already. It's either undos, histories, commands, scripts. If you look down here, right here's your uh, macro recorder. I hit that and it's ready to go. So, I'm going to start recording something. Now, what you need to do, this threw me off at first until I figured it out, didn't take too long, but once you start recording over here, you need to go ahead and reset. Turn it, the first step of the macro is going to be a reset. So every time you hit one of these buttons, I start with a reset, then I populate what I want to have filtered. Right, if you don't start with one of these resets, you just start toggling and it swaps back and forth and it gets confusing and it doesn't really follow what you're expecting. So I hit the record button, hit a reset. It really doesn't matter. You can start here or here. It doesn't matter which way you go. I like to start from zero. Oh, here, now all I want to have is locators. Real simple. Come here, stop my macro. Now, at first, what you see, nothing's happened. So what I'm going to do, click this button, and I'm going to save this to file. Or you can store it. Ah, just store it in the configure. All right, so I already got the other ones built in so it holds this out. So what I want to do, I'm just going to change it to... Oops, locator. All right, I'm just going to have it on locator only. I can just oh, swap these out. Be careful. If you're organized here, it'll help you in your uh, list when you're looking for things over here. Now, what am I looking for? Uh, locator. Right. I hit OK, and there it is. Right. You see what I've got here? I've got this one, this one, and this one. Anyway, right here's the one I'm wanting, right? Locators only. So, to get this to go into my filters, I need to get this code. If I right-click... Map script to key. I'm not going to do it, but it gives me my code right there. There's the macro code. So I copy. Now I come over to my form that I have opened. Come over here. New control. Add the command. V. Pasted that one in. The other one was already in here. you got to be careful. They're only numbered. 
So I pasted the new one in and it shows up. So I'm going to come up here and label it. Uh, so I filter, locators only. I give it something sort of uh, locatos, locators only. Very, very. Oops, I want to make sure. I try to stay consistent. Only. Let me see. I got. I need glasses. All right, here we go. Control paste. Drop that in my tool. Oops. Drop that into my tooltip. Now I come down here. Right now, there's. You saw it. It dropped in right there. This is just a default loc or macro icon. But I'm going to have my own icon in here, right? Let me do this again. Okay. There they are. There it is. Now I've got my locator right there. This should all go good. Save this so just in case anything happens. I can get rid of this. I can get rid of this. Now I think I can get rid of all this. Now let's see what happens. Okay, when I hit that button, I filter down to that. This button hits that. That button just goes there. And that one goes there. So it's working. Now I'll save my config. And that's about it. It's not too tough. All right. Thanks. Yum, yum.